up on the SPNN Forum is one of a series of interviews we're doing with St. Paul's District Councils. Our guests today are Wendy Underwood and Nicole Loran with the Fort Road Federation. Wendy and Nicole, welcome to the Forum. Thank, Thank you. you. So can you tell us uh, the Fort Road Federation, which is District 9? Yes. What are the geographical boundaries of that district? Sure. Uh, we run from just on the edge of downtown mm -hmm. um, all the way down West 7th to uh, 35E and from the river to the bluff. Okay. And what's what are your roles with the Federation? Um, I'm the treasurer. Okay. This is my second term sitting there. So yeah. kind of just handling the finances and making sure, you know, we have what we need to do the jobs. Oh, no, it's the most important. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and I am the second vice president and have just uh, taken on the role of a fundraising committee chair, uh, which are, we've just established committees in our most recent okay. annual meeting. Now those, those, so those are volunteer roles? Yes. yes. And are you yep. appointed or elected? We're elected. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. yep. And then within the um, committees, the, those are more volunteer and so... We've chosen to be on those. I'm sitting with fundraiser with Wendy as well. So, okay. <laughs> yeah. And those are uh, community members are um, encouraged and welcome to join those committees, yeah. which is one of the ways we've been working on yeah. bringing more people into right. um, the Fed. So, can you talk? And is that you guys? Do you guys call it the Fed? Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. Fort yeah. Road. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. um, what are so? What's your? What does your committee structure look like? How many do you have? Sure. I think we have three committees. Okay. Uh, we have uh, fundraising, um, which is new and something we're really excited to break into. We yeah. haven't um, fundraised um, as a federation before. We have a really important uh, land use and transportation committee. Uh, with everything going on on West 7th, it's yeah. really important to get that extra attention. Uh, and then we have um, community engagement, okay. um, which helps us with our district plans and activities and events. Yeah. Yeah. So, there, I mean, there is a lot going on on West 7th. Kind of what's, yeah. it's booming. <laughs> Tell us like, yeah. what's, what's hot, what's, what's happening on, on West 7th. Yeah, I mean, I think with Keg and Case mm -hmm. opening last year and all of that kind of hustle and bustle down there has been really great. So then it brings light, you know, kind of foot traffic and walkability and bike things. So we really right. talk about, you know, getting pedestrians, how safely we can mm -hmm. get them to cross streets so they can enjoy those kind of events that are going on. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's one big topic we always, Seem to talk about right. yeah um, uh, definitely uh, the interest in um, people um, moving to the area mm -hmm. and so uh, one thing that we have done is we've added um, three seats to the board uh, dedicated to renters really um, because cool. we are over 50 percent rental um, mm -hmm. in Fort Road uh, and to that um, there are a lot of prospective development opportunities yeah. um, for us, what really is important to us is keeping um, accessible, affordable housing, um, access to the river, and mm -hmm. really honoring the Great River Master Plan, um, a number of things that we welcome um, people uh, to the community um, that keeps the integrity of the, the great rich history of West mm -hmm. Seventh and, um, and makes it accessible to all. Yeah. You talk a little bit about what is that kind of what is that history of West Seventh? I mean, we oh. call it the West Seventh Fort Road Federation, but what is? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think most people now probably know it as West Seventh. Yeah. Oh gosh, well I don't, I can't speak to like <laughs> Fort Snelling and <laughs> yeah. the history of St. Paul, but um, for sure um, the Fort Road Federation is very proud mm -hmm. of its history. Um, um, it it really came about the Fort Road is. I think older than St. Paul's established district council system because it was really rooted in 1973 with the development of 35E yeah. through St. Paul and greatly through our neighborhood. Right. And so, because um, there were plans uh, to demolish Irvine Park um, for 35E to go through mm -hmm. there to connect across the river, um, as well as uh, demolish a great number of homes um, where we live today. Yeah. And so uh, neighbors organized. Um, a number of those neighbors are still very close to Fort Road today. Uh, Longtime city council member Dave Thune yep. was an early member. Yep. Um, our past president, Becky Eust, um, was very active in that work. And they rallied together to save um, these really, really important neighborhoods, these beautiful old homes, yep. and the people who living in them. Yeah. So that's really where it started. Yeah. Okay. yeah. 
Yeah, so nothing, you, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> so I think kind of one of the things that's popping that we hear a lot about is there's kind of a, a burgeoning dining scene on West 7th. I mean, we've got Parlor moved in from, mm -hmm. or expanded, I guess, from across the river. Mm -hmm. uh, Keg and Case um, has, what is the, and of course, is it Bloom? In Bloom. In Bloom, yes, mm -hmm. which just, I think, won a bunch of big awards. But so mm -hmm. West 7th is kind of a dining destination now. Bajarito. Yes. Yeah. was a great catch for us. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, it is. It's just great things. And as part of the fundraising committee, we want to also look at how do we capture on all those great mm -hmm. dining destinations we have yeah. and kind of look at bringing people, you know, taste of West 7th and different ideas like that just to really experience mm -hmm. all there is to offer, yeah. not just in the downtown, but moving out towards West farther down. Well, and of course, it's part of our history to celebrate the breweries of St. Yeah. Paul, right, <laughs> all yes. along West 7th, yep. and are grateful for the um, richness in those. Waldman's is a great example yeah. of, of one style versus um, clutch at Kagan and Case, and of course, um, Summit is really mm -hmm. is, is our uh, uh, really, really strong partner and at the end of our at end of Fort Road. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I also, though, I talk about in our neighborhood, um, we have a really super strong coffee scene. Oh. Um, Cafe yeah. Astoria, like the week, the line on the weekends is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, of course, um, Clada's was an early uh, uh, gourmet coffee shop mm -hmm. on West 7th. We have amazing roasters um, in the neighborhood.